hello. Hi there! Paimon would be more surprised to see you if we hadn't already seen a bunch of our friends. Huh? Wait! You're Shinha! This is a surprise. This place isn't easy to find. Angels share. The name doesn't exactly roll off the tongue. Mr. Zhongli was kind enough to help me with directions. I'm thankful. You needed help with directions? Wait, you came all this way just for a drink? That's right. Because we're friends. Here's the menu. Boreal watch. Hmm. Boreal? As in a cold climate. Well, Boreal watch here probably is referring to the Wolf of the North. So, yeah, you could say it's cold. Caramel pine cone. How could that be a drink? Oh, Paimon's tried that one. It's actually caramel flavored coffee. Pine cone just refers to the color. Huh? These names are confusing. I can't make sense of any of these. I'll leave it up to you. As long as it's something that tastes like Qingxin or violet grass. Uh, those medicinal herbs don't grow around here. If you want something bitter, then it has to be coffee. Fine. That's a good idea. You've practiced the Adepti arts long enough. It's time for something new. Let's make Shenha a snow-covered kiss. It sounds like a perfect fit for her. It's sweet and smooth. Not bitter at all. What is it? It's called a snow-covered kiss. Whisk milk until it frosts and gently pour it over some juice. It looks like it's covered by a layer of snow. Don't ask why it's called a kiss, though. Diamond doesn't get it either. It's probably just a gimmick to get it to sell better. A uh, gimmick? Romantic. Uh, it's hard to explain. Stop making Paimon come up with things. Mm -hmm, that's right. Oh. I see. I seem to understand now. Oh, really? But wait, why is Paimon the one who's confused now? Occasionally, I chew on divine herbs as I wander about in the mountains. I have witnessed the moment a new sprout breaks through the soil. Oh, the elation in my heart then does bear a resemblance to what I'm experiencing now. Thank you for helping me understand these obscure names. I might need your help again sometime in the future. <laughs> 